All right, so we're gonna do something a little new today. I'm in Eugene, Oregon. I thought, let's combine the workout with a little, little vlog action, kind of. I'm gonna show you some different places here. This is where I went to high school. This is where my parents live. So I thought, uh, while I'm here, why not show you around a little bit? And we are here. All right, so here we are at Autzen Stadium, Eugene, Oregon. It's where they play football. They're usually pretty good, not this year. They say it never rains at Austin Stadium, but it's not true. It's raining right now. Whatever, you know, I'm, I'm, we're gonna do it anyway. Let's get after a high intensity jump rope workout here today. You can do this anywhere. Go find a garage or, um, you know, just some open cement and get after it. What we're doing today is four high intensity jump rope exercises and four body weight exercises. So we're gonna go back and forth between those two. If you want more workouts like this, come join us in our free four week challenge. We linked it up for you in the first line of the description. It's fantastic. We got a great community and they're awesome workouts. Everyone seems to like them. So get in there now. First line of the description, get, get in there. Let's get after this workout. You know what time it is, baby. We got jump rope and push up workout. Let's go, let's get after it today. First exercise, jump rope, regular bounce. Let's roll. You wanna barely be bringing your feet off the ground here, just barely lightly tapping. And then we're spinning that rope as fast as you can with your wrists, not with your forearms. So keep it tight, just like you see I'm doing here, and go all out with your effort. Awesome, so take a rest and go ahead and get down onto your hands and knees. We got regular push-ups coming up. If you can't do regular push-ups, do modified push-ups from your knees. Ready, begin. Look at them views, huh? Hudson Stadium, University of Oregon. All right, get after it here. Of course, we want you going down to a 90 degree angle between your bicep and your forearm, but keep a control, keep your core tight, keep your butt down. All right, rest, chill. Grab your jump rope. We got jump rope, run in place coming here. So get ready to go in three, two, one, and get after it. So the goal here is to again, lightly be tapping one foot than the other, one foot than the other. You don't wanna bring your knees up very high, keep your knees down, and the closer your knees are to the ground, the faster you're gonna be able to run. And again, we're spinning with our wrists, not with our forearms. Great work. Go ahead and take a little rest here. And we got single leg push-ups coming up. If you can't do single leg push-ups, you can do modified push-ups or regular push-ups like we did the first time around. There you go. So again, the key here is to keep your core tight and be moving down to a 90 degree angle between your biceps and your forearms. Keep it tight. Push through here, you only got five more seconds. All right, chill, chill, chill. We got jump rope, front straddle coming up here next in five seconds. So grab your rope, get ready to go. You're gonna be jumping forward and back and begin. So the goal here is to really focus on just forcing yourself to take these big leaps forward. We want them to be quick leaps, but we also want you to be exerting a lot of effort where you're creating the biggest leap you can back and forth. Again, spinning the rope as fast as possible. Chill, chill, chill. Get yourself down and ready for the next round of push-ups. We've got tricep push-ups coming up here. So with tricep push-ups, you're going to be bringing your arms very close to your side body, as you can see I'm doing here. So you're really putting a lot of that weight and a lot of that resistance on your triceps instead of your chest here. And again, we're going down to a 90 degree angle, just like you see me doing here. Here we go, three more seconds, finish strong. Core tight. Boom, stand up again. We got jump rope, side straddle coming up here in five seconds. So we're gonna be hopping back and forth, side to side, and begin. And again, we want you to take decent sized jumps back and forth, but we want to keep them quick, explosive, explode, explode, back and forth. And again, using our wrists to spin that rope as fast as possible as we're doing this movement. All out effort is so important for these short 20 second intervals. 
and we're gonna relax. We get the last push-up exercise here in the wide push-ups. Get ready to go. This is really going to be uh, focusing on your chest here more than anything. There it is. So again, keeping your core tight, keeping your hands nice and wide so you can really feel that stretch in your chest. And this is our last exercise of the circuit. After you finish this one, you're gonna take a one minute break and then you are gonna do it all over again. <laughs> 